it's all about the food, isn't it? Where the next bit of food comes from. There's your whiff brush. Can't go anywhere without your whiff brush, can we? <laughs> Bless him. Mm, there's my cup of tea. Now, time to relax and hope something's going to happen. <laughs> I left one of those um, cat balls over on the side there, um, just there, and I've also left one down by the door as well, so if any ghosties move it or walk past it or anything, you never know. A nice shiny light will go off in the middle of the night. Shippies over here. But yeah, so far, nothing's happened. Nothing at all. But it's still early. It's not midnight yet. So, um, hopefully, something will set that off over there. So they said this place was haunted and they said there were ghosts here. Is that true? Are there any ghosties here with me and my dog? Rubbish. Rubbish. I want my money back. So I've set this up in the corner of the room because Sherpy's going to sleep over there. So you can see the whole of this. I'll show you. There we go. And I'll just let it run until the battery runs out. So hopefully, hopefully, it might catch something. It's funny that floors are so squeaky. You can hear people in the next rooms. Right, just gone midnight, so I'm going to put this on and then go to bed. Fingers crossed. Ghosties, do us proud. I know those bits were only dust, but you never know. Oh, that was dust. <sighs> no, 
might should be. That's good enough. It might be a ghosty after all. Did you see any ghosties? <laughs> Good morning, Glastonbury. Well, hopefully we might have caught something on that, but if not, then gutted. <laughs> Maybe next time, I suppose. But yeah, fingers crossed, you still got that to look through. So you never know, never know. I actually bought the sweets that um, Robert and Jolene sent me as well. They were Halloween Haribos. There's still a few left, so I thought they'd... Um, I'd save them for tonight. <laughs> they were very, very yummy as well. Thank you. <laughs> right, we're just going to um, get down and have a look at the breakfast thing. I always find breakfast awkward if there's more people in there with dogs, especially when you're on your own because you've got to, sometimes you've got to actually go up and get your breakfast or order it or something. So it's like the choice whether you walk, walk your dog past the rest of them. Or hopefully leave him at the table and hope he stays there and <laughs> it's, yeah doing little things like that is always awkward when you're on your own isn't it buddy are right, you ready that's it make those cleaners work for their money <laughs> it's a nice day today isn't it buddy Alright, we've got a morning ticket, so then we can have some brekkie, and it gives us an hour until um, until we've got to be out. Well, you've got to behave, okay? Don't embarrass me, don't start screaming, don't jump up at anyone's table, just don't do anything you'd normally do. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Yes, You're very welcome, Edward. Oh, wow. Carry on having a lovely day. Oh, look at this lovely dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Come on. Come on. Is it just yourself? Yeah, just me and him, yeah. Right, I have got the table for one. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Oh, hey. Are you singing? <laughs> yeah. If you sit down there, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll set up. Oh, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Come in, Eddie. Right, sit down there. Oh, two. Right. Yeah. Hey. 
it ready? There you go. Oh boy. They can't help themselves, I know. Oh, shocking. He said he'd be quiet today, so hopefully. Did he? He knows I'm a doggy person. I thought it was breakfast as well. I'll get that. Just keep quiet for very long. Can I have your coffee, Danny? I'll have tea, please. Thanks. Right, got my cup of tea. <laughs> You'll get some in a minute, don't worry. Wow. Right, let's get you in the car then I'll go and grab the bags. Saves you going up another step again. Do you want some water? Oh look at that, all so all sorts there. Right, that's it, all done. We're gonna um pop over and have a look at the fair quickly and then head off uh, head off back home. <sighs> Shame on you ghosts. You could have at least pulled Sherpa's tail or something. Hmm. Next time. Oh. Hey. You alright buddy? Hi there mate. Do you want it all the box? Uh, in the box. Please. In the box. Thanks mate. Cool. See you later. Thank See you. you. Thank Cheers. You. Right. <laughs> he on. looks like a big lamb. <laughs> oh, lucky we didn't leave the car here last night, wasn't it? We didn't look really stupid. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Smells like Thai, doesn't it? Come on. Then. No, he's feeling a bit too chatty today, I think. A bit too embarrassing. Aren't you, buddy? Right, see you next time. Want some water? Your okay. eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's my space. Thank you. Thank you. So, what food you got? <laughs> yeah, I need more fish. Yeah, I know. I know. It's very I know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you want to play? Yeah. 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 Come on. <laughs>
come on. Right, Glastonbury. Yay. <laughs> and we're on our way home. Look at that, 46.1 miles per gallon. That is shockingly good. Jeez. I think 14 degrees means the top can come down. I think Sherpa probably agrees. Yeah, buddy. Turn left onto St John's Square, then take the first right. Okie dokie. Stop for a quick wander on the way back. Get his pent out energy out the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad how much energy he's actually got for a 12 year old because um <laughs> yeah he definitely needs his walks right, we've actually got a parcel to pick up so we're doing that on our way back come through didn't we buddy One box, Mum said. One box. <laughs> right, fingers crossed that we caught something on here. Otherwise it'll be very annoying. Well, it turns out that all I've actually got is a blank screen, which is really, really annoying because I definitely had night vision on. But I think I realised my mistake is I had the big lens on and the big lens covers up those two bits there so maybe it just covered it up so uh yeah very disappointing no ghosts at all no chance of catching anything on this because it's just all darkness unless the ghost's got like a lantern or something i think i need to go to another one i feel very unfulfilled very unfulfilled <laughs> oh man so here's the issue. I put this lens on thinking it was a wide lens, thinking it could probably record more in the room. Turns out it's actually a macro lens. And I'm pretty sure macro means for like insects and flowers and things. And you can also see where the macro lens is. It covers up the infrared. Hence why it's pitch black. <laughs> so yeah, I need to go on another hotel, go to another hotel and do another um, ghost hunt because I'm not happy with this at all. <laughs> so there we go. It was a really, really good little adventure. It was a lovely hotel. But absolutely nothing happened. No ghosts at all. Not even an orb. There's lots of bits of dust, but, you know, I don't kid myself. They're not orbs. Um, so I'm very unfulfilled with that adventure. And because we were only away for one night, I feel like I need to go and do another one something needs to happen halloweeny because that just felt like a very expensive night away um and for what you pay for these places you know you think the ghost would you know show up a little bit just pop around and say hi or just flick a biro off the side or something like that slam a door but no obviously not included in the cost so i think i'm gonna have to find another one and we'll do another haunted hotel or another haunted place because I want some footage I want I want some ghosts <laughs> simple as that so I'm gonna get looking <laughs>